Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the Atom Mini works. Now, let's roll on the intro. <music> So let's see what is up with this Atom Mini thing. Like, what is it? What is it really? I was so confused what it is. But anyway, I went to AEB World and I was sold this one. This guy was like, do you have a switcher? And I'm like, what is a switcher? And then he showed me this and he said it has four HDMI inputs. When he said four HDMI input, I was like, I'm gonna go get it. Cause I was planning to buy an Elgato, which has only two HDMI inputs and one loop out, which I didn't want, okay? The two HDMI input was supposed to be for one, the camera, and then second, if you have a PS4 and you wanna stream your gameplay or record your gameplay, or if you want to record your mobile gaming, you can have it connected to your phone using this one right here. So if you have an Apple, um, you can buy this, connect it with a USB type A, all right, and then the other end connects to a capture card or in my case, the ATEM Mini, okay? So right now I only have two things plugged to it. This has four scenes to it, okay? I'm only using two and it's looped out. Okay, I actually don't have a loop out. There are four inputs, one loop out. I don't have any loop out connected right now all right it's actually got two microphone input there's also one thing that sold me so when he mentioned two microphone input i'm like sold four input for hdmi two microphone input done deal i can make a podcast man anyway um this works with a usb type c so one end is type c that connects to the atem mini pro uh, not pro atem mini and the other and it's a USB type A that connects to your laptop or to your computer. Got it? And anyway, I was told that you're gonna need a software for this, which I downloaded. So here's the deal. You might need the software, but you might not need the software. But actually, this thing is gonna work even without the software. I've waited for kind of a eternity to download the software. I could not find it. Now, I'm gonna show you why I'm saying I couldn't find the thing. Because it's way too impossible to find. I'm not kidding. This is serious matter. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is go to blackmagicdesign.com. Okay, they are even showcasing the Atom Mini and the Blackmagic camera. Pocket camera, it's a 6K, I think. But anyway, <gasps> they have a 12K. Anyway, I shouldn't be looking at that kind of stuff. So I was like, where is the download link? Where's the software? You go to products, okay, they sell you the products. You don't resell, uh-uh. So I'm like, what should I do? You can click on the live switchers and it only gives you this, okay? No price, okay, just the price, no nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing about downloading. If I click on the mini, it's just gonna route it to this, which doesn't make sense. I'm like, what's going on with this? Okay, and I was so confused. And then you click on the software control, which is, it gives you this, all right, but still no link to download the software. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and where to find it. Okay, you go here, right? I'm like, what's up? You actually go to support, okay? I'm like, why? Go to support, like it doesn't make sense to go to support because if you go, you normally go to support to like fix something or have a complaint about the product or troubleshoot or whatever. But anyway, this is how they do it. Okay, click on the support or you can go down to the support center, hit it. Okay, so we're at the support center and then you click on the ATEM Mini, right? And then here you're gonna see the latest downloads. So these are the updates. You click on this latest update. It was updated on the 25th of September. And then you choose if you're Mac or Windows, and then you just click on it. 
All right, and if you want a manual, go ahead and download the manual right here. Okay, so that's it. That's where you find the download. So anyway, you now know how to do the download thing. And when I finished downloading, I was like, okay, so now what? I've downloaded the software, I opened the software, and it was like the exact same replica of the Ata Mini, but only digital. Why do you need this thing? I mean, you're asking me a question, why would you need a digital version of, you know, your Ata Mini? Well, I'll give you the answer. It kind of works on remote control. It kind of works as a remote control. So if you are in the same facility and you're connected through an internet or whatever, you can enter the IP address and the ATEM Mini will connect it, the software, and then you can control the ATEM Mini from anywhere within the premises, especially if you have like four cameras that are like far away from each other with multiple angles and there's a person monitoring from, let's say, one side and the other person is monitoring the other side and wants to switch or whatever for whatever purpose. Okay, want to be anywhere in the building and want to be able to control the A to Mini, you download the software, but it's not really like super necessary. Oh, and if you want to like add some scenes or because it's not just an actual physical device that you can use to switch between scenes, you can also use like graphics and stuff. Anyway guys, I'm going to show you how to add the source. So it's basically similar to the capture card, you just add source and then you go to devices video, you can see Blackmagic is there. Okay, Blackmagic design right there. Or audio, you can also see Blackmagic design. But let's say if you want to capture a game, okay, for example, I got this black magic design right here. Okay, you go to audio input as you choose black magic design, not Marantz or whatever other sources of audio. Okay, because this would take the audio from your device, let's say from your phone, and you can hear it from, if you, you have like a headphone for monitoring, you can hear it, okay? And then of course the microphone, but for the microphone, you actually don't need the Blackmagic design unless you have the microphone or a microphone attached to it, okay? So microphone, you just need to make sure like right here, your audio source would be not black magic, but it could be something else. Actually, it kind of did work because my audio source is set up to Marant. Okay, not black magic design. Like if you look at it here, because I was, see, if I click on it, it's automatically set up to Marantz and not black magic. All right, so that's about it guys for this tutorial and how to how to use the A10 mini. If you do have any other questions, leave it on the comment section down below and if you want me to make more videos, if you have a question, you want an answer, I'm going to make a video and show you the answer. It's much better that way so it's more visual and again, you can see what's going on. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Alright, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you don't want to miss this phase or my future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. Thank you so much once again and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.